Hey guys, this is just going to be a current hair routine video, updated version. And the only reason I'm updating it is because I have changed a few products in my hair care routine. So I will start with just before, or a few hours before, I'm planning on washing my hair. And what I use before then. So I just have, I have one oil here but I use two. So I have coconut oil. This has been in previous videos and I love it. Now I don't use this every single time I wash my hair. I wash my hair twice a week. Every three to four days. So I will apply this once a week or once every two weeks depending on how dry and damaged my hair is. And this just looks like I've got an open one. I'll try and get some on my finger to show you. Like this. And you just rub it in. And it does eventually go into a liquid. Okay, so with this you obviously only need a little bit. And obviously the drier your hair is, the more of this you will need. This for one tub, I got mine from Superdrug, who don't test on animals and it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans because they're against animal testing. There is 125 millilitres of product in here. And if you are going to get coconut oil, I would suggest you get the stuff that's for hair, especially hair and skin, rather than the stuff you use for cooking, because the one for your hair and skin has more protein in it, which is healthier for your hair. So, if I don't use coconut oil, I will use extra virgin olive oil, which you guys all know what that looks like, it's just olive oil. And I apply a tiny, tiny bit of that to my fingers, rub it in my hands and then rub it to the ends of my hair that have been bleached and again leave that in for four to six hours and then obviously when I shower rinse it off, shampoo, conditioner as always. So after applying these and leaving them for a few hours and getting in the shower and rinsing them off, currently I have a new shampoo which I am currently using. Okay, so first of all, after the washing the coconut oil off, I will apply my solid shampoo bar. This is almost gone now. This is, it's been in videos before, there's like a tiny little review on it. It's great for if you've got dandruff and it just smells amazing. It's a really good cleanser for your hair and your scalp. This is just over £5 I think and they claim that it lasts as much as three bottles of shampoo would. But they say that you should rub it between your hands and rub it between your hands once and that should do. I use loads of this stuff but I love it. It smells like cinnamon but if you don't like cinnamon don't worry because it doesn't, like, it doesn't stay on your hair. You can't smell cinnamon for hours and days later. It doesn't hover. So I use this. Then once I've used my Lush solid shampoo bar, I use this currently. This is the TGI bedhead and when this video goes up there will already be a first impressions of this up so I'll link that in the description. This is a giant one and it has pumps. And the one on the left is the shampoo and the one on the right is the conditioner. And this is Control Freak. This is supposed to help with frizzing and flyaways. So there are four steps and I don't think you'll be able to see if I zoom in. There we go. Uh, so the this is the shampoo and this is step one. 
and this is conditioner and it's step two and I think there is a deep conditioner and a serum or a serum and a style and thing to make it three and four and I don't own those I just own these two and you get 750 mils of shampoo in this so I just do two pumps of the shampoo and a pump of the conditioner and in the first impressions I go over that so after using those okay so I don't use deep conditioners all the time but if I do I've actually not used a deep conditioner in so long because I've used my coconut oil so if I don't use my coconut oil I'll use a deep conditioner but if I use my coconut oil I won't deep condition and these two here they're not that this one is the intensive mask by John Frieda and has been in videos before this one however is quite an odd one and I'll explain this is the curing shine conditioner for soft shiny hair and it's in this little sachet and you get 15 millilitres of product in here and it's by Schwarzkopf and it has this little scissor thing and this comes in their hair dyes say in the hair dyes it comes in the ultra bright runs as you know guys know or may not know i've recently gone red so this you get two sachets of this conditioner in each box so when i went red i think it was pillow box red i used that comes in and I don't know if they sell it separately but if they don't they really should I love it it smells so fruity just love it so when all of that is gone I I have a pot of this but as I always say it's a mess it's in the shower and it looks disgusting so I still haven't opened this one uh, this is the John Frieda Frizzies Miraculous Recovery Intensive Mask And this fortifies to resist breakage so it basically I do love this product I will read what it has see if I can show you it has avocado oil and repairs and fortifies dry damaged frizzy hair to help protect against breakage, moisturise, silicones and shine and it's safe for colour treated hair. And then it just says apply to wet hair and I'll leave for three to five minutes. And then rinse. So that would probably be like four applications, maybe more for me. So once I have applied that and washed that off, I then, if I remember this is uh, when my hair is damp, like when it's 80% dry, my ends tend to be the last thing to dry. I don't know if that makes sense. But I will then apply one pump of this and what you have to do is you have to unlock it. And I'll just show you. I don't know if you will be able to see or hear, but this is the end. So anyway, you unlock it. And then I do a pump and it's, I do it so it's like just about covers one of my fingers and this stuff is amazing and let's see if you can see where I'm up to on the bottle. So I am about halfway down the bottle as you can see. And this bottle costs six pounds and I have had this for so long like you can check out my blog and there is like a John Frieda section and this was ages ago this was around the time that I tried the toner which I really didn't like so that was it was to help with my really frizziness at that point so if I remember I apply that but 
I don't apply it often like once a month maybe but when I do it makes my hair feel amazing and that's all I really use on my hair occasionally I will use the curl cream by Royal Moroccan but I really don't like my boots one so that stays hidden away at the back of like my beauty stuff so that is all I do to my hair and thanks for watching guys, bye!